All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another video for Fear the Walking Dead. In this one, we're going to be doing our predictions for what we think will happen next year in Fear the Walking Dead Season 5. And spoiler the warning if you guys are not cut up for Fear of the Walking Dead, which means if you haven't seen up to the Fear of the Walking Dead Season 4 finale yet. Uh, so that said, Fear of the Walking Dead has been renewed for a fifth season. If you didn't know that, uh, yes, Fear is going to be coming back next year. We're going to get to see a Season 5 of Fear, so that's uh, great news for people who are fans of the series and after all the changes, right? Because in Season 4, we saw so many changes with the roster, uh, the show basically getting entirely revamped by the mid-season finale. Um, um, you know, time skips and, uh, you know, ca people, cast members wanting to, to leave or at least one huge one in particular. And then a very questionable mid-season finale death in season four for fear. It kind of left us in the back half in a state of uh, kind of disarray and just just not understanding where the future of the series was going to go. So, um, you know, by the end of the season, if you guys didn't see my review for the finale, it's in the channel right now. I'll have it in the end screen uh, videos for you guys here in a box. It'll be in a box, so you can watch it after this one if you want to, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, really enjoyed the episode. Really enjoyed the finale episode and felt like it set us up on a good direction for Season 5 of Fear of the Walking Dead. And what... Fear the Walking Dead is going to be going forward at least for a while. So, um, if there's one character I think that that they did a good job picking for this crossover, I mean, you know, Morgan is obviously I think one of the best choices. Maybe he was the best choice to cross over to Fear. In them knowing that Fear was going to be having trouble with its direction, having trouble with um, you know certain uh, lead characters wanting to actors wanting to actor wanting to leave, and then you know kind of leaving the show to the point where there's very few survivors still left that are going to be in it going forward. Um, you know, I think all in all, going into season five here, it it's in a lot better of a position now than it was four or five episodes ago. Uh, certainly, the fear group is starting to feel more like a group. It's kind of a, uh, a mixed group of, you know, different walks of life. You have these different characters that came from different uh, angles. You had uh, Althea. She came from her side. You have the surviving fear members that came from the prior seasons. And then you have Morgan, who's coming in here. You have John, who we met along the way. You have John. John and uh, in June and, and June to where they've got a relationship going that sort of started just prior and then kind of rekindled and came back together. And then you have Charlie, who's sort of a, a leftover from the Vultures in the first half and in uh, a character that could be very useful should they want any intel on <laughs> anybody based on her experience at such a young age. So um, going forward, what they're going to be doing right now and what it looks like. So they're set up at a, a denim factory, so some kind of factory or something. Uh, and basically, you know, they're going to be going around and they're going to be looking to help people. So, um, you know, their mission or their idea is to be the good guys. You know, I, I, I love everything they've done with the television series version of Morgan. He turned out better than I could have ever anticipated based on the comic. Ver the comic version sucks. Let me, let me just, <laughs> if you haven't read the comic series, the comic version of Morgan sucks compared to the TV series version. The TV series version of Morgan is so vastly better in pretty much every way than the comic series version of Morgan ever was. I really like what they've done with him and giving him his own show is like right now it's hard to argue against it because it just feels so natural with this whole group kind of together here and how they've set everything up. So um, I do think they've done a pretty good job in redefining the, uh, the series in the last few episodes. So Will they, you know, what will season five look like? When will it start? Well, it'll probably start around the same time season four started, which is most likely when The Walking Dead season uh, nine ends. Now, how many people are going to be interested to come back and watch Fear after season nine ends? We're going to have to wait and see. Will season five be the last season of Fear? I don't think so, based on what AMC has been saying. They've been saying that they want to do Walking Dead for 10 more years. So I tend to think they try to at least do a season six of Fear, but we'll have to see when we get to that uh, point. So uh, The Walking Dead season nine usually wraps up at around, or probably will wrap up 
around the uh, April type of, of time range. We'll most likely see fear return at that point. Uh, of course, the eight episodes, summer break, and then eight episodes back uh, around the uh, near the end of August there, most likely makes sense for the time frame of what they'll likely be doing for fear. So um, happy to see that they didn't really kill anybody in the finale. It sets us up in a good spot for season five. They didn't need to. It wasn't necessary, I don't think, and uh, I'm happier that they didn't because, um, you know, there's not that many survivors in the fear group overall, but they're probably going to be adding a lot as we go through into Season 5 here. Whether or not they'll use a time skip remains to be seen. Maybe they bring in a few new... It makes sense to do that. You do a little bit of a time skip at least, and you have a few new members and maybe the start to the building of a new community here for Morgan and the fear group. And uh, eventually, I would think, in the first few episodes of Season 5, they've got to run into an antagonist, right? They've got to run into somebody who... Um, you know, maybe is somebody who they think they might be able to help, and it may may turn out that that person actually uh, has started their own group or something of the sort, and maybe sort of the opposite to Morgan's group, where Morgan's group going around trying to help people. Uh, the antagonistic group could be something like uh, Woodbury, or the governor, uh, where they would go around and try to basically uh, kill people and take all their stuff, right? <laughs> or assimilate them and become more powerful, become stronger, and kill them if they have to, or kill them if they even feel like it, right? So um, the DS tapes. So so, of course, one of the big questions with Season 5 is going to be, is Daniel Salazar going to be returning? We'll have to see if they're able to get Ruben Blades to come back and whether or not he'd want to come back as a villain. I think that that would be the best. If, if I was doing it, that's what I would do. I think that's the best direction you can go in with Fear of the Walking Dead for a fifth season. You can bring in a major villain who could be a major threat, and Daniel could be that villain, right? And he could be somebody where um, he is maybe as strong as Morgan and the others have become. Maybe they add on five or ten more members of the group, and you have a group that's more around 20 or 30 people, something like that, after a little bit of time in Season 5. Um, maybe you have Daniel come through, and he's got a group that's uh, of similar type of size, but of the opposite kind of people. You know, Maybe even some leftover uh, vultures or, or things like that that could be possibly in the, uh, the area. So uh, I think that would be a great idea to bring him back as a villain. We'll see if that's what they do and if that's what the DS on the tape uh, meant, if that's what it was. Because the showrunners of the series did say that they you know, were thinking that they might bring him back or we might see him come back at some point. For season five, that could be a really good, uh, really good setup to have him come back on the other side. And instead of being an ally, you know, he could be an old school fear fear character because he's one of these there's not many fear characters left from the earlier seasons so if they don't bring him back in to use him it kind of feels like quite the wasted opportunity so i do think they'll bring daniel back and i think that he could be a great villain to use at, you know similarly with like a governor uh in the original walking dead series in season three and do something like that between um you know morgan's group that wants to help people and uh daniel's group that wants to kill everybody <laughs> and uh, take all their stuff or something of the sort so um that's what I'm thinking we're going to see this season, them going around, doing their thing, you know, uh, forming this new group, a small time skip probably to uh, have it all make sense and put it all in together and change things up and add some new characters and such. Maybe some love interest for some of the different characters. Uh, we haven't seen one for Morgan in forever, uh, so eventually they might want to bring that in. Maybe it won't be season five, but maybe in season six they might want to do that because Rick's had some love interest too. You know, Rick starts off with Lori, of course, and they have their issues because of Shane and stuff, uh, but then later with Michonne. So eventually, you know, for Morgan, he hasn't had a love interest in, in forever. Uh, you know, that maybe that makes sense. Maybe eventually, uh, since, you know, the start of the series, right, and he has to put his wife down, but he couldn't do it, and then all he saw was red, and then he, he did it, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, that make, makes sense. Maybe you do that. You've got uh, June and, um, and John as well, too, and then maybe some of the others, and we probably next year will lose maybe a couple of the group, uh, you know, maybe uh, Wendell and, and Sarah. I don't know how long they're going to last. Wendell in particular, I, I don't know. So, um and I'm thinking that, you know, fear could be something like, you know, if they continue on this current kind of direction, uh, it could be something really unique and really cool because, you know, the group being a group of good guys that, that simply sees their purpose in the world to help others and to serve and community and uh, to save people, to help people in that way. Um, you know, I mean, that's something that that's that's something that's really cool. I think there's something uh, obviously it's, it's admirable to do that if they're in a position where they feel like they're strong enough to go ahead and do that, and that that's that's a worthy um, you know uh, 
adventure so that they want to take. It's something that makes sense for them to do in their in their lives. And if it works out for them, it could be really great. But of course, you're going to need an antagonist here and there to go against it and certain different trials and tribulations. But it's a great setup for something that could bring us years of story, years of um, trials and tribulations, traveling around, right, getting to see different locations in the zombie apocalypse. It's a great setup. It's it's a great setup for what could be the future of the walk, uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. And uh, depending on how you feel about the original Walking Dead series and everything that's going to be going on with it in Season 9 this year, uh, some major character deaths and big changes and stuff like that, who knows? Maybe Fear could be the one to look forward to. Because at least with that, you have something that kind of feels really fresh, really new, and something that has a purpose now. And for that, I'm really happy with the finale. Alley, and I'm looking forward to season five of Fear. I think it could be really good, and um, you know, with this new kind of direction, new kind of style they're going with it. Uh, if the last few episodes are anything telling, uh, it could end up being you know uh, something that's worthy of the Walking Dead name, uh, depending on how things go here. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see how things go with Fear of the Walking Dead. Those are my predictions for uh, next season. Send me your questions for the Q&As for this week, guys, for Fear. I think there is quite a bit to talk about right now with Fear and all these uh, changing directions. And uh, check out my review for the finale of Season 4 if you didn't see it. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll see you guys back again probably tomorrow for uh, our first Q&A for this week. Maybe we'll do one focusing on Daniel, giving our thoughts on whether or not we think we'll see him return and uh, what that might uh, look like maybe more in depth. So that's it for my predictions. That's what I think we'll see for Fear of the Walking Dead. Let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can share, you can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, please do uh, bottom to subscribe. So for this one, see you guys again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. I'll see you soon.